Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much Sagittarius for coming back. Thank you Sagittarius for being here. If you would like to further connect with me Sagittarius, please click the bell and click the subscribe button, okay? This is for the Sagittarius sign, please. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? I am channeling more of like a daily collective reading, uh, Sagittarius. So we'll look into love, career, money, general situationship. And because there is a solar eclipse that's going to happen tomorrow, so we might be able to tap into the vibe of the solar eclipse. It's going to happen tomorrow. And let's see what's the message you are meant to know and ready for you to know, Sagittarius. What can I get for your sign? Thank you guys for your support. What is the guided message for the Sagittarius sign? Okay, ooh, harvest switch. You've got the autumn equinox oracle card. Holding hands. <clears throat> okay. The Reaper, oh, someone from the past. You've got the Fire Cider. You've got the Coming of Darkness, Sagittarius. Okay, all right, guys, let's start your reading. So, you're starting the reading with the Harvest Witch Oracle card. That's number 21. I feel like with this Oracle card, um, I feel like with the influence of, you know, the influence the influence of venus is now in aries then mercury retrograde and then we've got the upcoming solar eclipse tomorrow it could be very intense okay because i'm kind of picking up this oracle card it's connected to your memory lane um it could be the next couple of days sagittarius there is a part of you a subconscious part of you sagittarius is somehow coming into a reality you know, like, um, I would say it's more of like, um, it's more like, it, it's more, it's, it's more of like, a this, 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 it feels like it's, it could be connected to childhood. It could be connected to a relationship trauma or difficulty, but there is a subconscious feeling that it is somehow interrupting your day to day. Okay. So you could be like watching TV or writing or googling or you could be at work and somehow this subconscious memory this subconscious thing thoughts memory it comes out and it just distract you from what you're doing i feel like this is one i feel like this is one way of your energetic cleanse Sagittarius with the harvest which that okay Sagittarius you've been keeping these feelings you've been there's a bit of a push and pull but if at some point the next three to four days randomly you would remember memories of the past or people that disappointed you or the hurt that they caused you it is a memory that is stored in your subconscious and your body and your spirit is pushing it out okay so if you're triggered to feel to feel something intense sad hurt or um, disappointed um it is a healthy way of re releasing it just just feel it okay with the eclipse it is one of your spiritual system rebooting okay it is subconscious i'm really picking up that there's a part of you especially connected to childhood look at that especially connected to mother relationship uh mother and daughter relationship it could be connect connected to relative in here it could be connected to relationship romantic in here but do not be scared if randomly you would you know randomly uh, a thought a feeling would interrupt you process it okay that is your um your body along with your higher self pushing it you know it could be an image it could be a feeling it could be a voice but it's pushing it away of your spiritual system um it is 
something that would reach a sense of balance like it's 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 something stored in your subconscious it's not healthy it's creating tension in your body so don't don't fight off just release it you know it could be it could be you're working you remember this go take a walk and process it out your spiritual higher self along with your physical body is pushing a lot of this subconscious thoughts experience that's stuck okay for some of you you've got uh, whenever you think of this you've got a pain in your chest or you cannot breathe for some of you i don't know but if you experience this sometimes you would just you know involuntarily you would move when, when you think of this situation like you would move or jolt or vault it's because your body along with your higher self it's it's, it's spiritual system it's pushing out this healthy this unhealthy sorry and I think this is a healthy way. So it's it's the, the universe is helping you out with pushing this subconscious thoughts. Yeah, because the universe would like you to feel better, especially the solar eclipse. It's going to eclipse a lot of, it's going to bring out a lot of things in the surface. And it's going to make your physical, emotional, spiritual, I mean, your journey as a human still alive would be much, much better if you're able to push it out so when you are triggered oh i remember this ex of mine oh randomly i'm sitting and remember my dad oh randomly i remember this the following people feel it if you need to cry cry it out if you need to journal it but release it because the universe it's, it's, it's pushing it out you know it's it could be like images it could be voices it could be pictures it could be it could be in a form of i don't know music but release it the universe is rebooting you and those subconscious unhealthy that's that's stuck in your chest that's stuck in your head you know for some of you you've got migraine for some of you your eyes would flicker and like your right and left eye it would flicker when you think of this like your eyes would flicker like oh i don't want to remember it you, you just slowly look into it and breathe and release okay the universe is helping you purge okay now the second oracle card you've got the autumn equinox in here i feel like this is it looks like the lover's card it feels very romantic in here sagittarius let's see okay the judgment card is here the high priestess the king of swords so around the time of the solar eclipse tomorrow someone is going to remember you if you're having some sort of subconscious thoughts this person probably is part of that uh they're also having some sort of wake up call epiphanies in here and it's connected to you it's connected to a memory you shared together um okay let's see it's a king of swords i feel like this is you and them okay this is this is you or this is you but this is you and them and this is the king of swords someone is remembering you someone is remembering you and it's building up into oh i, I I'm, I'm thinking of you something like that let's see i think they're quite worried what i think this person is very worried about you and how have you been they feel very bad that they weren't able to show care, something like that. Ace of Pentacles. There's a King of Swords. There is a King of Swords who they feel very guilty about what they weren't able to say or to do or to help towards you, okay? Um, this person is realizing that out of the many, like out of, out of the many people, why it's in a nutshell, like this person, I'm so selfish. Why did I came to, the, why Sagittarius and I came to this point of no talking, no calling, ignoring it's because I was so selfish. So the thinking of an ace of pentacles towards you. Yeah. This could be someone at work it could if it's not romantic it could be someone at work someone you work with that they realize that 
why are they punishing you or why are they selfish with you why of all the people why did they do that to you it's, it's giving me a vibe that you are so close to me why did i do that to you Sagittarius? could be insecurity it could be i don't know but this person's realizing i should have not done that and also very selfish in here they realize that they're so selfish someone realized that they have a huge that the fault is on them the fault is on them they're realizing it now yeah so this person after the solar eclipse tomorrow this person will continue to think of you and as they continue to think of you they will continue to somehow reconcile uh their thoughts their feelings and how they could materialize it how what will do what will they do with this sort of feelings will they reach out will they text will they call so it's going to materialize into something fair okay so they aim to be fair for what they did towards you with the justice card whoever this person it's slow but it's building up solidly and remember it's mercury retrograde so i don't think it's unfinished business i think there's some sort of i don't know but energetically you've got this mutual understanding that it doesn't work but that is where this person is coming from well it doesn't work because i don't want to work through it so they're realizing that you have you've got this mutual understanding that it doesn't work it, you like if like energetically you know and they know it doesn't work for me it doesn't work for me too so it's like no compromise but if you th if once they go through their feeling they realize mm, because i wasn't compromising or i was the one who made you feel sanitized that it will never work or it doesn't work okay it is something that i realized that i was that they realized that that the problem is them if it doesn't work it's because they don't want to make it work okay they realize that it's a build-up of energy i don't think it's, it's gonna this person's gonna you know charge and call it next you know it's it's a build-up because it's a king of swords and next to it is an ace of pentacles so there's a lot of process that they will do especially if it involves money especially if this is a relationship whoever this person is they're coming to me very mature very mature sagittarius okay so I feel like it's more of third week of April to May that this person will come into a decision. It's better to do it that way. At least Mercury is, you know, Mercury is going to go direct April 25. Now you've got the foraging in here. I believe this is you, Sagittarius. I feel like this foraging, it's connected to the present Sagittarius, you know, that this is you right now. It looks like in terms of eclipse and who you are right now, I could feel that the solar eclipse is giving you some sort of power. Like it's giving you some sort of, if you look at this, you're working hard and somehow working, like you're, you're this is like day-to-day -day activity. Um, you're collaborating, you're co-creating and co-manifesting with the universe, with your friends, with your family. You're very connected to your life. You're very connected to your work. You're very connected, like you're very present, you know, with, with a foraging in here, Oracle card. I could feel that you're very present into now. Okay, this is the, this is you. This is the Sagittarius that, you know, that has gone through the past. And now you're very connected, you're very connected to yourself. Like it's giving me a vibe that you have gone through rebirth and evolution. Okay, and I feel like this is like a stopover. Like it's giving me a vibe, Sagittarius, that as we step as we step into the solar eclipse and after the solar eclipse, especially you, you are tra like you've reached a destination. You know, you've reached a destination in your life where you can say, "Ooh, I have rebirth, and I'm into my evolution." So there's something that you would discover post eclipse about you, about that this is because I'm really picking up. Okay, this is you and you've gone through rebirth and you are going to go to a metamorphosis and an evolution and you're going to discover discover again discover i don't think it's rediscovering no you've gone through a rebirth you've gone to 
some sort of metamorphosis. This is, this is the post. It's like you become a butterfly. And now, because you're a butterfly, where would you go? Where would this butterfly evolve? So in the next few days, you will tap into a new energy that will take you to the next level. And I feel like that next level will turn you into the great person or a great next, like the great person you want to be. So this is the next level. And I feel like it's very connected for some of you. It looks like you're moving. So for some of you, um, I'm really picking up that in the next couple of days, you would really, there's something about wellness and fitness that because I'm seeing a lot of move, like if you look at this, you know, the foraging, lots of movement. The leaves are moving, the birds are moving, it's flying, this moving. You two, both of you are working together. So for some of you, it could be as you evolve, you're also going to improve a certain lifestyle. Like you would be looking into your day-to-day -day lifestyle. You would be transforming a boring lifestyle into something exciting lifestyle so you will include a new or completely revamp a new lifestyle and it's connected to wellness fitness and you will take it seriously like something tells me if you want to be that great person there's something about the day-to-day -day and the wellness and the spiritual thing that you would coordinate so you will create a new thing that will be added in your lifestyle something that's not boring i feel like the reason why it's like you're preparing for a marathon like you want to win the marathon so you're gonna be regularly doing this thing to win the marathon and it's very unpredictable unpre crazy unpredictable but it's exciting so i would say dive into that because i see you going through an evolution the next level okay in here sagittarius so keep going through your wellness fitness spirituality like making 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 it part of your lifestyle and it's very inspiring now for the ne the last reading is you've got the reaper this is really bothering me look at that i feel like this is directly this is well this is also from the past person okay now this is also from the past this is specifically an x okay this is specifically an x this reaper it's gonna steer something up it's gonna play the thing is they're gonna try to like it, it's giving me a vibe that this reaper along with the fireside it's gonna steer something up in your it's gonna create some drama there is an x a romantic energy there's an x a romantic energy that will probably pick a fight so the next three, four days, if an ex or a portion of April to May, if there is an ex or a romantic energy will come, they will pick a fight. They're going to stir something up, fire cider. And then eventually they will just say, I miss you. Look at them. This is, I think you're too good for them. All I can say is that this person is quite desperate, that they will do something of their move towards you is under like um the way this person is gonna move towards you is underground it's foul okay page of cups because eventually they're gonna say sorry the empress card the sun is so immature this person is so immature the world card in the page of swords look there is a romantic energy they're stepping they're coming out of the light and the thing is they're gonna pick a fight they're gonna say something to stir things up and then don't let don't let them get into you like it's it's something like hey Sagittarius what's up so you forget about me now yeah it's my fault because you're so perfect something like that so it's gonna steer you to like it's it's triggering you to react this person you know what they're very sad okay they're very very sad and desperate to be inventing all of these stories um because this is you you're well off you're good look at them how how desperate they are so I'm going to leave it with you, Sagittarius, because you're in the mood to talk with this person. Talk like you're going to you're going to give them a go. 
and good luck to them because you're in the spirit of being a Sagittarius. There's a fire cider in here, so they're going to receive some. I see you nagging them, or I would say, don't talk to me like that. You know, I could see the fireness. I could see the sassiness coming out of you, Sagittarius, because you're at peace. And out of the blue, this person like, oh, don't talk to me like that. So I see you being sassy with them. But I tell you, after you being sassy with them, they're going to say to you, I'm sorry. So it's just provoking you. Okay. And then connecting you with, I am sorry. So FYI, giving you a heads up. Sag, this is your reading. This is your special eclipse. And what else, you know, I mean, more of like an eclipse reading. And um, it, the eclipse reading, it's, it's eclipse vibe. It's very unpredictable. I might just chill inside the house and vlog. But it's very unpredictable. And um, thank you so much, Sagittarius. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button, okay? If you click subscribe, you're, gi you're giving me an energ energetic permission to connect with you. Use the, my channel, the infinite, as the oracle, as the vortex to talk. So please don't forget to click the subscribe, okay? You take care. Enjoy the eclipse. And I'll see you soon again, guys. You have a great day.